Hello and welcome to another musical story. Today's story is The Rainbow Fish. And I'd like you to help me to tell the story today. So sometimes in my in this film I'll be reading the story but then at other times it'll switch to a different screen, a sort of split screen with lots of different music things happening. And that's when I'd like you to join in. So I'd like you to think about, do you have anything that you could make a sound with? It might be a percussion instrument. Or it might be a homemade instrument. These bottles are quite good because you can scrape as well as shake them. Or you might have made a little drum. Or you might have a water bottle to hand, which would be good for all the water in the ocean. Or you might have other instruments in your house. You might, or at school, you might have flutes to hand, violins, cellos, trumpets, all sorts. So in a minute, we'll pause the video and you can go and collect the instruments that you need to help tell the story. When it switches to a music screen, you might be thinking, well, what do I play? Well, often we take words from the actual story and they become our speech rhythms. So, for example, when all the fish say, come and play, we use that little, come and play, come and play, and we play that on various instruments. Come and play, come and play. Sometimes I'll give you some notes that you could use, so if you can make different pictures on your instrument, I'll give you a clue at the side of the screen which notes work the best. But really, just try anything. Just try lots of your own ideas to fit in with what's happening on the screen. But do leave some space around your ideas. Try not to play all the way through. If you look carefully at the different instruments that are playing on the screen, often they don't all play at once. Often they take it in turns to play so that the different sounds come through the story. So try to do that when you're joining in. Leave some spaces and listen around what you play and then join back in again. Okay, so pause the film and go and collect some instruments. The Rainbow Fish by Marcus Pfister. Thank you. 
a long way out in the deep blue sea, there lived a fish. Not just an ordinary fish, but the most beautiful fish in the entire ocean. His scales were every shade of blue and green and purple, with sparkling silver scales among them. The other fish were amazed at his beauty. They called him the Rainbow Fish. Come on, Rainbow Fish, they would call. Come and play with us. Come and play. Come and play. Come and play with us. glide past, proud and silent, letting his scales shimmer. One day, a little blue fish followed after him. Rainbow fish, he called, wait for me. Please give me one of your shiny scales. They are so wonderful. And you have so many. You want me to give you one of my special scales? Who do you think you are? cried the rainbow fish. Get away from me! Who do you think you are? Get away from me! From then on, 
No one would have anything to do with the rainbow fish. They turned away when he swam by. What good were the dazzling, shimmering scales with no one to admire them? Now, he was the loneliest fish in the entire ocean. One day he poured out his troubles to the starfish. I really am beautiful. Why doesn't anybody like me? I can't answer that for you, said the starfish. But if you go beyond the coral reef to a deep cave, you will find the wise octopus. Maybe she can help you. The rainbow fish found the cave. It was very dark inside and he couldn't see anything. I have been waiting for you, said the octopus with a deep voice. The waves have told me your story. This is my advice. Give a glittering scale to each of the other fish. You will no longer be the most beautiful fish in the sea, but you will discover how to be happy. The rainbow fish started to say, but the octopus had already disappeared in a dark cloud of ink. Give away my scales, my beautiful shining scales? 
never. How could I ever be happy without them? Suddenly, he felt the light touch of a fin. The little blue fish was back. Rainbow fish, please don't be angry. I just want one little scale. The rainbow fish wavered. Only one very, very small shimmery scale. He thought, well, maybe I wouldn't miss just one. Carefully, the rainbow fish pulled out the smallest scale and gave it to the little fish. <gasps> thank you! Thank you very much! The little blue fish bubbled playfully as he tucked the shiny scale among his blue ones. A rather peculiar feeling came over the rainbow fish. For a long time, he watched the little blue fish swim back and forth with his new scale glittering in the water. The little blue fish whizzed through the ocean with his scale flashing so it didn't take long before the rainbow fish was surrounded by other fish. Everyone wanted a glittering scale. The rainbow fish shared his scales left and right and the more he gave away, the more delighted he became. When the water around him filled with glimmering scales, he at last felt at home among the other fish. Finally, the rainbow fish had only one shining scale left. His most prized possessions had been given away, yet he was very happy. Come on, rainbow fish, they called. Come and play with us. Here I come, said the rainbow fish, and happy as a splash, he swam off to join his friends. Come on, rainbow fish, come and play with us. Here I come. Come on, rainbow fish, come and play with us. Here I come. <laughs>
What a lovely story. I'm so glad the rainbow fish learned how to share and found happiness by the end. So thank you for joining in with our musical soundscapes to bring our story to life. I hope you enjoyed it. Well done and I'll see you soon.